I'm Dinah Gratis, Director of Product Management for Sightline, and today we have with us Yen Yepsen, who is our uh, solution consultant for um, Enforce, which is our uh, Salesforce solution for Sightline, as well as Lori Monahue is a solution consultant for Sightline. And in today's session, we're going to talk about business process innovation, and this is really what we've done with uh, working in conjunction with Salesforce and our M4 products to uh, and have a solution for our customers uh, for Sightline and, uh, and Salesforce, basically called Enforce. And today, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Yen Yepsen, and Yen's going to talk to us about um, about the Enforce and what this means for our customers and how you can achieve a 360-degree view of your customer. And then Yen's going to turn it over to Lori Montague, and Lori's going to actually do a demo and talk about the integration between Salesforce and Sightline. Yen, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. So, yeah, good morning, everybody. My name is Yen Yipsen, and I am a senior business consultant with Info. I have extensive experience in CM, e-commerce, and ERP with many different industries. My primary background is in manufacturing. I was responsible for IT solutions for a global manufacturing company. Throughout my career, I have learned, often the hard way, the value of having or not having a complete 360-degree view of all interactions your company has with the customer before you try to upsell or cross-sell solutions. First, I want to talk about the problem we are solving, the big questions you, our customers, ask us. Uh, we want to use Salesforce.com, but how can we get enterprise data from ERP to Salesforce? I need to know who my customers are in my territory and the contacts we have worked with. What is the relationship history between my company and my customer? I want to arm customer service people with critical customer and transaction information in one place. As an account executive, you want to know everything about your customer, don't you? You want to know the status of sales orders, shipments, back orders, new service cases, resolved service cases, returns, and all interactions you and your colleagues have had with your contacts. Many of you have asked us to help you give your sales team the complete view of their customers in one place. During this presentation, I will show you how we help our customers get a 360-degree view of their customers. I'm talking about a little bit of roadmap data in the presentation, so I have to include this disclaimer. So, I want to tell you about how Info has answered our customers' big questions. Let me tell you a little bit about Info's partnership with Salesforce.com, a little about the Salesforce.com sales and service cloud solutions, and why you want to integrate ERP with CIM using our Enforce solution. Then I'll pass it over to Lori and she will show you how we have actually implemented it within the Salesforce application. And then afterwards, I will tell you what is coming. Enforce strategic partnership with Salesforce.com was an initiative between our company CEOs, Mark Benioff and Charles Phillips. We announced the partnership a year ago. Our strategic partnership with Salesforce.com Combine Salesforce market-leading sales and service cloud applications with Enforce ERP and financials applications to create a powerful enterprise solution that spans the entire customer lifecycle. In addition to globally reselling and supporting Salesforce.com uh, sales and service cloud solution, Info is developing two native Force.com applications as part of the Enforce solution. Today we are talking about Enforce, which provides you a 360 degree view of your customer information across the enterprise. And then we also develop Enforce Marketing, which brings business-to-business -business marketing to the, ma to the masses. Our partnership gives you a single point of contact, one hand to shake. We take care of everything for you. The big question you are wondering is, why would you spend time and effort to integrate your back office solution with your CM solution? When I was working for a different software company, we had scheduled a meeting with a major automotive customer here in the U.S. 
we were all really excited about our opportunity to sell a CRM solution to this customer. I was there as a sales engineer with my account executive, our CEO, and VP of professional services. I remember us preparing for this meeting for days and how we were all sure we would close another deal with our customer. What we did not know was that one of our applications, which was mission critical to our customer, had been down two hours that morning. It happened while we were preparing for the meeting at the hotel. We had no idea. Confronted with questions about the breakdown, we were totally unprepared. I'm sure a lot of you have had similar situation or have experienced something similar. If we ever had a real-time 360-degree view of our customer that morning, we would have known about that problem and we would have been prepared for their questions. With Inforce, we want to arm you, your sales force with real-time knowledge about your customers anywhere and on any device. I want to talk a little bit about the Salesforce solution, about the sales and service cloud, and then I'm going to be more specific and talk about Inforce. The sales cloud is the market-leading application for managing all your sales information. Salesforce pioneered the market more than 10 years ago, and today they hold the number one market share according to IDC. The customers love the product. They made it easy to deploy, easy to use, and easy to customize. As a result, 92% of Salesforce.com's customers said they will recommend Salesforce.com to a friend or colleague. And of course, Salesforce is constantly innovating. Each year, Salesforce.com has three major releases that automatically upgrade each solution, uh, each customer. Salesforce.com surveyed their customers every six months to see how they are doing, most recently in April. Here you can see the results of the survey of over 4,500 customers that, are in, that they are improving along every ma major matrix in sales using, the, using sales cloud. We're seeing that sales teams are improving productivity, generating high revenue, and closing more deals. Users mobile devices, customers are seeing a 28% increase in team productivity. They're seeing an average of 26% revenue, license, uh, revenue increase and 23% um, faster sales cycles. Salesforce.com has been a leader in cloud computing since 1999, and they are also a leading cloud computing vendor of service and support applications. Leading analyst firms like Gartner have positioned Salesforce.com as an industry leader for service applications. Salesforce.com also got the largest customer base of any cloud computing service application vendor. Nearly 9,000 service organizations are using Service Cloud, and in fact, over 4 million of their customers' customers use their customer service portal technology every day. Like with Sales Cloud, the Salesforce.com surveys as uh, service, cost, uh, service cloud users. Here you see the, the measurable results service cloud users are reporting. The service cloud not only helps Salesforce.com customers see improvement in satisfaction and retention, but also helps them to see more productivity, uh, to, to be more productive and reduce cost. Salesforce.com is completely rethinking the post-PC enterprise. <clears throat> it's not about developing a single app or one tool, but bringing all of the pieces together. We understand that no single approach will satisfy the mobile needs of all of you, which is why we offer through Salesforce.com multiple ways for you to maximize your productivity while you are on the go. All of the sideline data shared with, sales, with Inforce or Salesforce is available on all mobile devices. You can access customer data and transaction anywhere on any device. One of our Inforce customers, Scott Winters, CIO at CH Bricks, stated, we are on the verge of a revolution which is going to be required to play in the future. Let's see how we make CM special for our customers with Inforce. You already have a, a sideline ERP solution. 
you either have or, or want to have a, a salesforce.com solution. Both solutions contain information about your customers. You have the same accounts and maybe contacts in both solutions, but they contain different information about their accounts. The sideline ERP solution contains back office specific data and transactions, while the CRM solution contains sales related information and transactions. What if your sales team had a complete picture of all information and transactions in one place? Wouldn't that reduce cost of answering questions about customers from your sales force? Wouldn't that make a huge difference in how you support and sell your existing customers? Wouldn't that increase your revenues? This is the gap you, our customer, asked us to close. But is it possible? Yes, it is. That is what makes Info special for you. Only Info has closed this gap. No other ERP vendor has solved this problem. Infos uses Infos Iron or Intelligent Open Network technology to connect Salesforce.com with Sideline. Iron is our integration framework to create an end-to-end -end solution for improving your entire business process. Infos gives you seamless real-time data exchange between Sideline and CRM, a true 360-degree view of your customers, sales efficiency and effectiveness. So what has Enforce added to sales and service cloud. All the white objects over here are standard salesforce.com objects. The light gray ones are objects we have enhanced with the Enforce solution. The gray objects like orders, invoice, payments, shipments, returns are brand new. They do not ex exist in salesforce.com. Enforce has actually added those. The account and contact objects are bidirectional synchronized between ERP and CRM. We have added ERP data to the Salesforce.com objects as well as additional addresses like build to, ship to, pay from addresses like you have in Sideline. Products and system codes such as payment terms and industry codes are updated from ERP. In our current version of Enforce, sales orders, invoices, shipments, Returns, payments, and, and receivables ERP transactions are synchronized from ERP to CRM. Calls can be synchronized from ERP, but are often excluded from ERP and only maintained in CRM. Sales has more credibility knowing everything about their customers. And marketing get customers, customer products and history metrics to use in campaigns to upsell and cross-sell with higher precision to existing customers. One of our customers dated, we absolutely need that information for our CM to function. And here, I'm showing the data in sideline and how we put business object definitions, exchange data between sideline and Salesforce. And here you see the, the blue objects are all the ones which are standard Salesforce objects which we have enhanced. And then you have the, all the brand new where we have added screens so you can view invoices, invoice lines, orders, orders lines, returns and payments, and also quotes coming from ERP. And all of this is done through, through Iron. So. so now I want to turn it over to Lori, so Lori can show us how this has been implemented within the Salesforce, uh, how Enforce has been included in the Salesforce application. Okay. And tell me when you can see my image. Are we good? We're good. Okay, good. great. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, as Jen mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and show you the actual physical look and feel, uh, the integration uh, between Sightline and Salesforce. I don't know how many of you uh, have experienced or, or had a demonstration or used Salesforce, um, but it's a very intuitive product. And so what we, we thought we would do is, because it's such an intuitive uh, mid-market product that really supports your sales processes and gives your salespeople the tools they need to really uh, follow their accounts and generate their leads and do communications, um, it made sense to bring in the information from Sightline so that you can have that 360 degree of your customers. 
So what you're looking at right now is a Salesforce. Um, it is a dashboard for a user. Uh, I am in as a sightline um, user. Uh, Salesforce does have controls and, uh, and controls what that end user can see and what they can do. Um, so as you can see, there's some information graphically depicted on customer satisfaction information. Uh, you can see your sales pipeline. Uh, the home page or the landing page just shows you all your open tasks that need to be um, reacted to. You can see your calendar immediately. Uh, all of the integration to Outlook is here so that you can create calendar events and invite others to join that calendar information. Um, easy to navigate around. Uh, you can come here and do things like uh, create new leads, create new accounts, create new contacts, things like that. So what we're trying to do is, is give this intuitive tool to your salespeople, allow them to track and record conversations they've had with your customers, uh, create tasks that they need to follow up on their customers, create leads that come in that they need to follow up on. And then what we did is we brought in information from SightLine, such as your account, which is an equivalent to your customers. Uh, we bring in the contact information that is in SightLine as you're creating contacts in SightLine. Um, we can view and tie quotes to your opportunities. So a salesperson can create an opportunity, have the uh, quote created in SightLine, and tie that back to a physical business process in the opportunity to be able to track the, the process of that quote. Uh, we bring in the views of sales orders and shipments and invoices. These are all new tabs that when you install Enforce, these are generated and created, and that synchronization is live within the, the system. Um, if we look at uh, the simple things like leads, this is where your salespeople can create leads and track those leads and follow up on those leads. You have the ability, there's some standard import tools that allow you to import from Excel spreadsheets Again, without having to tap into your IT group to do some of these things, Salesforce brings tools to the table to help that salesperson be more self-sufficient in their day-to-day -day processes. Let's start with the accounts here. And if we look at the, the accounts, what you're looking at here is um, on the left-hand side here, they would be able to see your salespeople as they're processing through different uh, business aspects of Salesforce you're going to be able to have quick links to recent things that they've done or looked at as they're going through their process. Here's as well all the recent accounts that they've looked at, or you have the ability to review and look at things. If you hit the Go button here, it will show all accounts that they have the ability to look and, and see. So you can actually scroll through and see information against certain accounts. If we look at coordinated bicycles, um, if you've all remembered demos from SightLine, you, you will remember coordinated bicycles in our, our bicycle database. But if we look over here in SightLine, you actually have the ability, these are all the touch points that are bidirectionally coming from Salesforce and SightLine. One is your customer master. As you create customers in SightLine, there's a synchronization that takes place that will push that information into the account table into Salesforce. As you update addresses and information about that customer in SightLine, it will keep that customer record in synchronization back in Salesforce. So if we look at coordinated bicycles and look at their address, as you as the business end are updating this information, it will show up immediately uh, within Salesforce. If your salesperson um, happens to need to change the address, they have the ability to change the address here in Salesforce, and it will synchronize and update your business information in SightLine. Now, you do have the ability as a salesperson to create a new account out in the field. Let's say that you have a prospect and you've determined that you now have won this deal. You actually can create a new account record. It will push that account into SightLine, and because we have the business rules built around this customer record, it's as if someone had keyed in that data and will validate against all of your business rules. So we're giving a little bit more power to the salesperson as they really own these customers out in the sales world um, to be able to control and synchronize and keep that information intact. 
Um, the other thing that you have the ability to do is if you look at this back office in, uh, tab, you would be able to see that that record is in sync with your uh, accounting information as we go through. Once you're in this account detail and you're talking to this customer, you have the ability to see contacts that are associated. That is another uh, touch point within Sightline. We have the new sales contact master table so that you can synchronize bidirectionally the contact information, addresses, names, phone numbers, things like that, that can be created in Salesforce. And again, it will be pushed into the Sightline data table so that you have access in the back end as you're a customer service rep or someone else that's touching that customer, you would be able to be um, intelligent about sales contacts that your reps are talking with as well. And again, as you change addresses and as you add information, it is bi-directionally synchronized between the two systems. Um, the other thing that's important to understand is you can create contacts in Sightline it will push that contact information back into Salesforce, and you can create contacts in Salesforce, and it will push that information back into Sightline. The other thing that's really nice about Salesforce, um, before I get too much further, is this is a really, really great tool, this chatter. I don't know if you're, again, familiar with Salesforce much, but anyone in your organization can actually follow information and sales processes that are taking place against a customer or an account or a, an invoice or a sales order or anything that has to do with uh, that customer or that contact. So by clicking this follow button, what happens is uh, the sightline uh, person is now following anything that takes place against this customer. So if we show the chatter, what happens is if an address was changed in Sightline, they would be notified that an address has been changed. If you look at things like this account, um, uh, it, it tells you that it failed to sync, so that if something's not in sync, you can see that. If we go back to an account here, I have an account that I did some work with <clears throat> here, and let's just go to Ellen Bicycles. And if you see some of the chatter that's going along with LM Bicycles, you can see that um, their credit limit was increased. So as, as you're touching that account in Sightline and making changes to that information, because I'm following this account, I am notified immediately that something's happening. This is a great way um, to keep the communication, the lines of communication open within your organization. So if an invoice is late or a product is back ordered, your um, by changing the due date on a sales order, it will notify your salesperson that a due date has been changed or a ship date has been moved out so that as they're talking to this customer, they know that things are happening uh, with their sales orders and with their shipments and those types of things. So that's a really great tool without having to utilize emails just by processing an order, processing a quote, changing a, uh, a due date, changing a request date, that, that information is passed automatically if you have chosen to follow that customer or that information. The other things that you have available, um, there's the multiple ship twos. Again, you can see all of the ship twos. Um, here if we look at all the ship twos that are associated with this account. And again, a salesperson has the ability to update ship to records, to add ship to records while they're out in the field, and that information again will be passed forward and pushed in to Sightline as that transaction takes place. So you, you're giving your salespeople <clears throat> the ability to really keep um, your back end support people in the know on what's going on with that customer. If we look at the opportunities, Opportunities are generated and can be generated within Salesforce. Now what happens is you also have the ability to, as you're going through and doing quotes for an existing customer, you have the ability to create these quotes or generate these quotes, and when you print that response form, it will actually create a new opportunity for that salesperson 
to follow, and it ties that quote to that opportunity so that salesperson can start following up and gathering information and continue down the process with that quote. So as quotes are updated and changed, that salesperson will be able to see what's going on with that sales order or with that quote. If you drill into this quote here, you can actually see the details. You can see the quote, what's been quoted in the lines. You can actually, as a salesperson, be able to email that quote and create a PDF to send to that customer as well. So as things change, you can control that and send that information um, to your customer as a salesperson. If we go back to this account as well, some of the other things that you have the ability to view and see are um, you can actually see um, sales orders. So as sales orders are generated in Sightline, it is a one direction synchronization, but as sales orders are generated and created, your salespeople can actually see those sales orders. And within that sales order, you will be able to see the status, what that sales order included. If there were any shipments that took place against that sales order, they would be able to see those shipments. Um, they could see the quantity that's been ordered. They can see if we drill into this, um, this line here on this sales order, now you can see the details of the transactions that are taking place against that line item. The fulfillment information, uh, what's been shipped. You can actually see the actual ship date, what the promise delivery date is. And as those promise dates change in sight line, those dates will be coordinated and changed within this sales order. So again, giving that tool to the sales people, people as Yen mentioned, whatever device they're using out in the field, they are going to be able to stay connected real time with those transactions that are taking place. The same with invoices. You can view all the open invoices. If we look at the invoices here, if I click here, it will take me down to the invoice information. Again, you can see the status. It's unapplied or it's been paid. You can drill into that invoice to see the details of that invoice um, within that. So you can see all of those invoices. Um, and there's a difference here. You can see all the invoices and you can see all the payments or the receivables against those invoices. So again, um, just by, by viewing that information, they can see all the transactions that are taking place against that customer. The other thing you can do is um, customer returns. This is very important and critical. If you have created RMAs in Sightline, you have the ability to have that visible to your sales reps and they can actually um, go in and start following by coming in here to this RMA, clicking this follow button. As things happen, as transactions happen against that RMA, that salesperson would be notified via the chatter that something has taken place against that RMA. So now you don't have to pick up the phone and call into the back end office to see what's going on and what, what's happening with that return material. So the, the, the process of this was to really, truly give your salespeople that 360 degree view of everything that's touching their customers that they're selling to and that they're supporting and also the contacts that they're working with throughout the, their sales or their organizations so that they can keep in touch with what's happening um, within the business. Um, Jan, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back to you, and then we'll open this up for questions in just a little bit. Okay. Thank you, Lori. So what I want to talk about, what is coming. So. In the next release, we're actually adding multi-company, and I know that's, for many of you, a big issue uh, around sideline, but what we're actually adding is you can have multiple companies in ERP and consolidate it all into one instance inside Salesforce and being able to set up permission rules and things like that around the company so certain people can only view one company or maybe other people can view different companies. We also 
adding in the next release multiple back office that you can have different instances of ERP all synchronizing into one instance of, of Salesforce. And again, using the multi-company one to set up permissions for who can see all companies who can only work within one company. And then we're also adding that you can create your, your own custom box or business object definition so you can have things. We are not synchronizing back and forth today being synchronized back and forth, and so you can define that yourself, that you get custom objects or other information you have in sideline you want to expose in, uh, in Enforce. In a later release, we are opening up for making quotes and orders bidirectional, so you can start creating a quote on order insights in force, and then synchronize it back with, uh, uh, with sideline. At the same time, we're also look, we're getting in that we're getting pricing from ERP, so we're not trying to price it within Inforce or Salesforce. We're actually going back to the ERP solution and get pricing for the quote. So you will have the exact same pricing whether you create the quote or order in Inforce or you do it in Sideline. And the same goes for availability. Then later we will add configurator. So we have configure price quote as well as a proposal generator. And that we're also looking at today is pretty much related around sales information. We'll synchronize back and forth. We'll get more service information as part of the 360-degree view. So what I want to show here is uh, the, um, that we're going from sideline through iron, as you know, and then we're making the quote and the order bidirectional. And we're adding that you have, can have catalogs where you're seeing all your products from within sideline and being able to do configure price and availability and proposal in the next version of it. So. I'm going back to this slide about some of the, the matrix uh, we have looked at uh, our, how the benefits Salesforce has actually added. And I just want to highlight again, Infos enables you to achieve a 360 degree view of your customers. Infos makes it easy to share real-time data between ERP and CRM, so your sales team have up to the minute information about status of their customers, orders, shipments, invoices, and payments. And by that, I will turn it back over to Dinah. So. Uh, that was great information, Yen and, uh, and Lori. Uh, it was very exciting to see uh, not only the sales force software, but also seeing how we can synchronize information between the two systems. Yana was, uh, I think, for our customers in particular, seeing that roadmap of some of the things that, that are coming into the future is also very important. So most of you probably have, um, have, have gotten an announcement today that uh, this is available for Sightline. It's been available now for about a month, but we've uh, gotten the announcement out to customers. So this is available now. You can contact your uh, sales representative if you're interested, or of course you can contact one of us um, if you need more information. So again, M4 starting with a great CRM and making it better for M4 customers. And again, our key takeaway is really uh, M4 solutions, no matter what they are around the ERP, unlocking more value from our existing applications by extending it with things like the M4 integration with Salesforce. Uh, operator, if you'll go ahead and start the uh, queue up for the Q&A, I'll, I'll keep talking for just a minute. At this time, I would like to remind everyone, in order to ask a question, press star, then the number one on your telephone keypad. We'll pause just a moment to compile the Q&A roster. So for Sightline integrations, we are leveraging the ION suite of solutions for our uh, Enforce and Salesforce integration. So again, you'll see that kind of over here on the left-hand side. And also this week we've talked about e-commerce coming for Sightline, also leveraging the ION suite of solutions. And then we've also talked about warehouse mobility and time track and PLMA uh, this week. So again, um, extended solutions for your Sightline solution. So I'm to just let, let us know when you're ready. We do have a question from the line of Jim Burke from Ion Geophysical. Your line is now open. Hi, Diana. Hi, Jim. How are you? Great. Thanks. 
Yeah, thank you uh, for attending all week. I think I've seen your name on the list all week. I have been here the entire week. Very good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, can you tell me what the minimum Sightline version is uh, to be able to support uh, the integration with Enforce? Yes, it is Sightline 803. Okay. And uh, when will the uh, the newer version of Enforce be available, the one that was uh, discussed a few minutes ago? Um, you mean the one with the multi-company? Yes. Okay. Uh, I may have to punt that over to Yen. We're... We're available now with the stuff that Lori showed, the roadmap. I think that we're waiting for Enforce on that. So, Yen, do you have uh, information on when that next release of uh, Enforce would be out where it would support multi-company? Yeah, the free first one, multi-company and multiple instances of ERP, and um, the custom bots would be available at the end of this year, calendar year. So. End of this year. Okay, so yeah. will that require 803.10? Or will it still be 803? Uh, you know, uh, honestly, Jim, at this point, until we actually get that release, um, I'm, you know, we'll, and we'll test it against 803.10. And, um, yeah, I would say to be determined whether or not it would take, it would actually, we would be able to pick it up mid-year or whether or not we'd have to wait to the next release. You know, one thing that's okay. coming for Sightline in 804 is a single instance multi-site option. Yes. And it could be that we decide to uh, take one leap so that we can do it either way, distributed or the single instance option. If, there, if, if it's a pretty simple um, testing for us, we'll test it before 804, just to be determined. Okay. All right, thanks. Yes. Your next question comes from the line of Crystal Carter. Your line is now open. Um, hi guys, I've actually worked with Jim, and my question is: I um, when I when I first heard about the Enforce integration, initially, from my understanding, it only worked with the cloud-based the cloud-based Sightline solution. Is that no longer the case? Can you be running the Sightline version as like on site or on servers and integrate with Salesforce.com? Yes, absolutely, Crystal. Uh, I would say that the majority of our customers are on premise. So um, we've got about 1,300-plus customers that are on a Sightline 8 release, and about 350 are on an 803 release. And, you know, we, I would say the majority of those are on-premise customers. So definitely it will work on-premise. Of course, Salesforce is in the cloud, but you would connect between Sightline and Salesforce, the Sightline on-premise or Sightline on the cloud. Okay, and I may have missed this part because I um – was an elevator and my phone disconnected. But you all, the integration also includes the integration between the Sightline price books with Salesforce.com price books as well for products? Yeah, yeah the product item master is synchronized, so the products are synchronized. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks, Lori. You're welcome. I, I probably, actually, I was thinking about that. I probably missed that point. Will these slides be ava sorry, um will these slides be available um after this webinar or will you all actually end up doing this, this session again? Yes, you will receive an email next week with um, information regarding um the recordings of all of all this eight weeks events, PDFs of the slides and further product documentation. Great, thank you guys. Watch for that. Thank you. Your next question comes from the line of Kevin Palmer from Downing Displays. Your line is now open. Thank you. Uh, with the, the partnership between Salesforce and for are there discounts for the licensing for Salesforce? Yeah, and you want to take that or you want me to take it? That's fine. I can do it. Okay. We have the exact same pricing as Salesforce, so it's no difference whether you buy it from us or Salesforce. So. Okay. So you have to work with your account executive around discounting, but but there's no no difference whether you buy it from us or, or Salesforce. We are using the exact same pricing. Okay, thank you very much. Again, if you would like to ask a question, press star then the number one on your telephone keypad. Your next questions from Crystal Carter. Your line is now open. Regarding the last question, currently at Ion, we are. Salesforce.com users, as well as Ion, I mean, as well as Sightline users, you, from my understanding, you would actually have to have a license for both of these environments in order to use both, in order to use this enforced integration um, thing, right? Solution, nothing. 
solution. You take that, Diana? Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Um, the, we, ha we have two different levels, Crystal. You, if you buy your uh, Salesforce license, licensing from us, then, of course, um, the Enforce integration and ION embedded is part of that. And if you already have Salesforce, then we have a separate pricing for those customers for the ION and the, um, the Enforce. So it is, you know, it's a lower cost if you already own it. But yeah, you, it would, the expectation would be either you already have Sightline and you already have Salesforce or you already have Sightline and then you uh, license Salesforce through us. Which would get you the integration of is that one line item, but we can price it both ways with or without okay. Salesforce from Sightline. I mean from M4. Okay, so either you're paying for just the connector of the two, since you're already a customer of both, or you're essentially bundling with you guys directly. That's correct. Yes, got it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so thanks everyone for coming. As um, Amanda reminded you that all attendees will receive a link to the webinar recording and supporting materials uh, probably sometime mid next week. Uh, if you have questions, of course, and you're interested, contact your sales representative if you're interested in a demo. Uh, and maybe that would be Lori giving the demo. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks again, everyone, for coming, and have a great week.